Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is my school today, bringing you Monk Monday number 115. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it. Choose threes, RBG, solo shuffle, mythic plus, uh, raids. It doesn't matter what MMR, doesn't matter what CR, it does not matter at all. Just please send me your gameplay. It is probably one of the better ways to learn and improve. It's just watch your gameplay. If you're too shy to submit your gameplay, at least record your gameplay and watch it back. You'll learn a lot. Trust me. Uh, today we have Chegg, who says, little game I played, only been healing two weeks. Man, she had 2100 as Fist Fever, but I want to learn Cast and Fist Weaver as well, but I'm stuck at 1K rating on it. All right. So usually people have like the opposite. Usually Fist Weaving is pretty difficult, um, but... Yeah, I guess in solo show, Fist Weaver is pretty good. It looks like we have a BM Hunter Shaman versus Frost Mage GK, and you're a Miss Weaver playing it's a Preservation Evoker. Yeah, Evokers are normally pretty difficult in solo shuffle for me at least. I feel like they just have really good mana and have really good healing output, but if you're able to get a really good CC chain on them with uh, when they don't have Nullifying Shroud up, it's really, really strong. So it looks like we're going to try to kill the Mage here. We got a statue down, port up, really good. Um, trapped the mage there all right we trapped the mage which i guess is good um and yeah we it looks like the evoker does have nullifying shroud up. the one thing we can do is your your shaman can spam purge the nullifying shrouds off but i don't think he's going to i think they're just going to do damage which again it's fine but you just can't cc for a while you're doing a lot of healing right now which is good we also have we use our instant vivify there which is fine uh there's we get kicked there so one thing i don't know what talent you're running but versus this, I would definitely run uh, Zen Focus T, Chrysalis, and then probably Peace Weaver. Mm, yeah, probably Peace Weaver. So just keep that in mind. Just use your Zen Focus T. You could use Zen Focus T while channeling Soothing Mist. So if you get a Soothing Mist with like two or three stacks of Cloud of Focus, we have one stack of Cloud of Focus. We drop it. But if you wanted, if you had like one or two, and then you um, Zen Focus T, you can keep continuing your healing output uh, and not get kicked. So just be careful when you get kicked, though. It uh, looks like we're now swapping to the Death Knight, which seems about right. That's the solo shuffle way, it feels like. Cocoon on the Hunter is fine. Uh, saves his turtle. Your Shaman also Astro Shifts. You get slept here. I think you can get Tremored. Your Shaman is not Tremoring you. Your Shaman still didn't Tremor you, which is a little unfortunate. I've run into issues where they don't actually run it. We have an Instant Vivify here, too. Instant Vivify. So if you, you know, the nice, quick, you know, burst of healing, you could press it. Also, if you're playing Life Cycles, you get the mana reduction on your next Envelope Mist. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't know if I, I didn't see your talent, so I don't know if you're playing Mana T. Maybe I could check. You are. It looks like you are playing Mana T, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, big healing here. Careful, no CS, no uh, mind freeze, which is good. So you should be just good to free cast. It looks like the dragon is the only one with the kick right now, and the, I don't think that lockout was too long. So we're doing a really good job. Polly's triple R. You're chilling right now. Um, I would just focus on healing. You're. GPS are cutting towards you. You're kind of in the middle of the map as well. So just try not to stand in the middle of the map. Either play the room or play on the pillar. Just pick one of those and you should be okay. Right now, you're it's just so this guy is probably gonna be able to fear you for free. And then the pre the mage is gonna be able to poly you um once you're off DR. So keep that in mind. Glacial spike coming in hot. So there's gonna be damage here. Uh but it looks like we're just healing through it again they, the mage has to kick back so is the dk so just be careful when it comes to getting kicked we get kicked um if you do get kicked by the way normally what i try to do is i try to in cap the target that we're not hitting so i don't i i'm not gonna lie i can't tell which which person your team's on right now um it looks like maybe we're hitting the mage so if we weren't hitting the mage i would just in cap the mage here because i got kicked if if you were close enough to the dk i would i'll in cap the dk <laughs> I can't tell. Like, all right, we're, we're actually on the mage. Here comes a sleepwalk again. Be careful, uh, staying out in the open because uh, sleepwalk can can happen. Then you get followed up with a poly. Uh, solo shuffle. You can't really depend on teammates to kick. Um, good. I think we dispelled there on the shaman. Really good dispel. Cocoon on the hunter as well. Um, shaman has wall in eight seconds, so we should be okay. Um, trap on the mage again. I don't know. Maybe it's the mage just eating the traps. Maybe the mage just insane. <laughs> like maybe, maybe there's built different nice leg sweep insane insane a really good swap here onto a little little baby drake see this is what i'm talking about just get cc on the dragon after they the nullifying shroud is down and i think the the they already use emerald communion and you just get the kill that's perfect really really good i don't know if you, it's not very easy to kill a dragon but it's it's good when it does happen um 
I'm trying to see. I mean, posi I think it's mostly positioning right now. Healing wise, we're doing fine. Also, I don't know, have a look at your talents. Um, it doesn't look like we're playing Zen Focus T. I'm trying to think versus BM Hunter or Mage. You, you probably want Zen Focus T. You could probably drop Chrysalis maybe and go like Eminence to avoid traps. But I don't. I don't even think the Hunter was going for any traps. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I didn't see many traps coming out from the Hunter that game. All right, we got a port down. Trap on you. I'm trying to see what... the This is fine, though, because poly GRs. Yeah, this is fine. Because your DKs... This this is a waste of Ring of Peace or Ring of Frost. Uh, sleep on you is a little annoying. Your Shaman can tremor. I, your Shaman just refuses to tremor. Wait, we actually... Did we trink it there? No, no, we just life cocooned. Okay, that's fine. We overlapped a little bit with the Shaman um, Astro Shift. Actually, what I would do here... Is that your shaman got a pretty decently sized teal here? I know we're spamming it, but like the sh your shaman got like how much health is he at right now? Like eighty percent. You probably didn't need to life cocoon here at all. If you're playing Zen Focus T, you could just Zen Focus T heal your shaman and then heal your death knight. Um, because I, I don't think we need to life cocoon there. Plus, you already already had astral shift up. So the big thing about casted healing, uh, casted Mistweaver, is that you can't, you shouldn't overlap cooldowns with your teammates otherwise because you don't have many cooldowns like you have a lot of healing output i mean it's the same thing as fist weaving right but fist weaving you can actually do damage to get pressure um good job healing put make sure you put renewing mist on your teammates though um uh, renewing mist is really 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 important for cast healing so um you get a heal from your vivify with it and it can if you're playing misty peaks it can proc and belt mist so really really important to get renewing mist out on everybody good job Good work. We swap rooms, which is fine. That's good. Um, I really like taking the pillar on this map. So if you could take it, try to spell that trap if you can. Because um, the DK is just hitting. Or just sitting. <laughs> DK is just watching the game being played. It's funny. Uh, we got the mage ice block, though. So at some point. Because he's on hypothermia right now. So that's good. Um, I would still, Yeah, I would say most of the pressure should be on the mage. Just because they're the one with the spinable CC. Um, we do get... I don't know if we taunted that trap or if for some reason they just try to attack you during that, but really good job. They just kind of broke that, which is nice. Oh, I don't know where these traps are coming from. It's like the second trap this game. <laughs> uh, last nice, good. Get out of that trap. Cocoon here um, is fine. I think Again, I think if you play Zen Focus, you don't have to cocoon so much um, because then you can just rely on your healing because your mana is fine, right? They're at 85% mana. The other team, I feel like, is doing like close to no damage. So you should be fine. But yeah, probably full here. We do have wall available. Oh, we need, whoa, okay. That hunter just died so fast. But yeah, what? This Ring of Frost was huge overlap on this Ring of Frost as well. Like with like three seconds left. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake from the mage. Also, the hunter just gets clocked here. Yeah, the. the <laughs> Hunter just gets owned there. All right. I think we're doing good so far. Make sure you keep renewing mist on your teammates, though. And if you're, like, trying to reposition, make sure he gets hot. Use your instant vivifies more, too. Really, really good to juke with them. What I do... So, you see this timer right here? You could use your instant vivify with, like, one second left. And then it'll re-up. And then you can... So, basically, you get two in a row. So, what I do when it comes to juking is I'll use an instant vivify. I'll juke, instant vivify, try to juke, instant vivify. I know it comes down to the timer, but it's really good for like landing, you're trying to bait out kicks. Um, but we're doing a really good job. We got a port down, statue up. Well done, well done, well done. Um, renewing mists going out. I would say kill targets probably war, probably hunter here. I think it's a lot easier to kill a hunter than DK. Big hots going out here. Good. Vivifying to envelop mist. It's really good. Uh, no finding tracks. Uh, good port on that spirit walk. Really good. What was Sleepwalk? I always forget the name of it. Sleepwalk, which is really good. And yeah, I this is where you are all game. Uh, make sure you use your second port. Ooh, make sure you use your second port. I don't know if you're playing Eminence or not. Actually, I can tell if uh, if you are or not. Um, because if you if you are playing Eminence and you don't use your second port, um, it, it's weird. It, there's like a bug. It's like a weird bug where it adds like five extra seconds. I don't know why. Um. So just keep that in mind. But we're rooted now. Cocoon on the mage, which is fine. Because if we're going to get trapped, you might as well just like cocoon beforehand. Um, Hunter has no kick. 
DK is too far to kick. Dragon can kick you if they're close enough. I can't tell how close the dragon is. No, dragon is close. All right, so we're just sitting this trap, and I think they're too far away to kick you. Hunter's the only one with the kick that really matters. Um, so we're trying to juke the hunter. Make sure, again, renewing mist fell. Renewing mist fell. So make sure you put renewing mist up on, on everybody. We have two stacks of it right now. You always want one charge of renewing mist um, recharging. Um, good leg sweep here. Good triple leg sweep. Beautiful. We get Emerald Communion. This does make the dragon somewhat of a kill target if you can kill it in a stun. But with a mage shaman, you're probably not going to kill it. So I would say keep killing the hunter. But the DK is actually... I think the, I think DK is a bait though. Good song here too. I think DK is a bait. I think you probably want to kill the hunter. Um, they both have no trinket though. But again, the DK has IBF, AMZ, Lichborn, AMS, like... Hunter only has turtle. We get stunned here. Sleepwalked. No? Okay, good. And there's turtle. So, yeah. Hunter's kill target here. Just keep your mage alive. We have life cocoon. Yulon right now. Don't be afraid to don't be afraid to use your manatee with the Yulon as well. Uh, especially in solo shuffle. Like, the games don't go on long enough to, like, matter, really. You could just stack your manatee and, and Yulon and get a super mana reduction on your healing. We decide to block. Okay, that's that's a weird block right there. You see? <laughs> okay, all right. That's that's interesting block for sure. Trap out of nowhere again. Uh, trinket here is fine. I mean, shaman has wall, but again, I I get it. You can't tr you can never trust anyone in solo shuffle. I get it. Um, and we life cocoon. Huh, uh, stun on the hunter, and then sleepwalk on you is good. There's still no tremor from your shaman, which is again really weird. Because they can tremor it. So, uh, Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist is good. Shaman still has wall. Again, we have an instant vivify, so don't be afraid to use it. You know, I see we're trying to juke right now. Just like you could use an instant vivify and try to juke. Uh, that way you don't lose out on too much healing. We do get as asphyxiated stun. Um, but we are sending. We, we, we have so much healing. And it looks like we're. It, it's just the hunter. Yeah, it's, it's just the hunter. I don't know where your team is. Yeah, it seems like. We're not hitting. That's second ice block. The first ice block from your mage was a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. But we should be hitting the hunter. Hunter has no trinket. We have no trinket. No trinket right now. We have wall. I... Careful. All right, good. Uh, renewing mist. Uh, also, renewing mist is like really important. Are you, are you, if you're playing the talent, I forget the name of it, but the enveloping mist that puts renewing mist on people, you should be playing it 100. percent um, because that will help you a lot with your healing output. We have wall from the shaman, but we have no renewing mist out, and it, it sh it's just not going to feel good. Also, we're just vivifying right now. We have two stacks of cloud of focus. Send the thunder focus. I mean, send the enveloping mist. You don't need to get the three stacks just to, because uh, now we get locked, and this is why you probably want to send focus C. Um, you don't need to send the enveloping mist on like two or three stacks. If you have to, send it at like one or two. Um, now we get sleepwalked here. I think we're probably gonna maybe not restore all big healing. Damn. Yeah, that I a lot it's it's weird because your shaman has tremor. He has tremor totem. So I don't know why he's not using it to get you out of this. That's like the third time. I don't get it. But for you for you specifically, all of your renewing mist fell. I don't know when. I don't even know if we had any renewing mist at some point. Oh, we had one here on the shaman. Um. Yeah, we had one here, and then it just falls, and then we don't get any follow-up ones. Renewing mist is really important, really, really important. And then here, we just—I don't know if we're—I think we're being greedy with um our cloud of focus tax. I would just send it, uh, we, especially since we have the thunder, thunder focus here. I would have sent it like one vivify, boom. I would I would have sent the involvement mist here. I really would have. I know it's less healing than two or three stacks, but I mean your shaman's dying, and then the dragon is kick available, and then the hunter. Yeah, the hunter even has a kick available. Your shaman was probably dead if, like, the hunter kicked right here. Like, the hunter has kick. Hunter could have kicked you here and the shaman's dead. Um, also, Zen Focus T is really good. I don't know what our talents are, but I would highly recommend playing Zen Focus T. That way we get, that way we get the guaranteed healing when we need it instead of uh, getting kicked. But that's fine. I, I think it, the shaman not... Tremoring you is <laughs> way like, yeah, I mean, it's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um, playing Hunter Mage now, 
I would say this is probably, I don't know, man. DK, maybe. I feel like Shaman have a lot of self healing. I think it's going to be DK. Uh, your hunter can kite, your mage can kite. Actually, your, your hunter mage can kite, can kite, probably kite both of them uh, pretty well. So just focus on staying 40 yards away because the shaman has sheer. DK has two kicks. Dragon has a kick. Um, you want to make sure you stay pretty far away. If they're not, they should be kicking the mage, but if they're not kicking the mage, they're kicking you. Hopefully, a mage can get like spam roll, spam poly and get the nullifying shroud off just so you can CC something. Um, Root on you, which is fine, I guess. Sun on the shaman is good. Shaman trinkets into a leg sweep. It looks like we're trying to get, kill the shaman. That's where sacrifice as well. Alter time. We're. I I get it. Trust me, I've been there. Good, good. One verify two. Nice. There's envelopment mist there. Ice block. This mage. <laughs> this mage is ice blocks. Okay, that ice block probably wasn't necessary, but it is what it is. You know, it, that's solo shuffle for you. It's okay. Um, be careful because it looks like everybody has their kick available. So they can kick you. They can spam kick you. Um, doing a lot of healing. A lot of green numbers on the screen. We're, we're healing a lot right now. Um, I would also use your ring of peace to help your sh your mage and your hunter. Like, depending on who they're on, you could use ring of peace to, like, get, get the pets off your mage and make it a lot easier. It looks like the dragon's trying to sleep you, which he does... Which is a little bit unfortunate. We don't we don't have tremor this time. Not like the shaman's ever going to use it. We cocoon is fine too. That's good, really really good. I the it's weird that the mage uses first ice block before any of that damage went out. But that's emerald communion from the dragon. So we're doing pretty good. I mean we, we're getting cooldowns for them, which is nice. We still have restore. I thought I just saw. Yeah, we do. We still have restore, which is good. Um, so if we get stunned, we can heal. Be careful. Nice good envelopment mist there. Perfect. Keep healing. Awesome. Make sure you get renew keep renewing mist out because again the yeah, renewing mist is gonna fall. Renewing mist fell. We're losing out on a lot of healing right now. Um we have restoral here. We use re okay. That was this is probably the big overlap. That's if you lose this round, this is probably the reason. Um we overlap trinket with restoral with are we playing Peace Weaver? We are. So there's no reason to trinket this. I don't think there's any reason to trinket this at all. Because most of the shaman and like DK damage is magical. So you could just restore the stun. Like you're stunned right now. Where are you? Stunned? Just restore. I, I don't freak out here. Don't panic. And then the mage also ice blocks with our trinket, which is even worse. So I would just restore. Um, but yeah, th this is a pretty big overlap. I'm not gonna this this is a pretty big one. We'll see though. I don't know. Let me see. Good leg sweep here on the dragon. Save your leg sweep for the kill target, I think. Yeah, I, I would save your... Because he, here's the awkward thing about this comp that you're playing is you all have in-cap DRs. So Trap, Polly, in-cap are all in the same DR. So what I would do is usually the hunter is going to intimidation stun, trap the healer, or the mage is going to poly the, the healer. I would just save leg sweep for the kill target. Like the shaman has no trinket, right? Let me see. Because the only stuns you have are Intimidation Stun and Leg Sweep. So if the Hunter goes for uh, Intimidation Stun on the healer, you should Leg Sweep the DPS. Especially since the Shaman has no Trinket. Uh, that's probably the only way you're going to kill him, I think. I, I've run into Enhancement Shaman. They have really good self-healing. Um, like If you look at the healing breakdown, you see Shaman's doing almost a million healing right now. It's really good. All right, big... Uh, Sleepwalk on you. We have no trinket. We have cocoon in five, which is good. Nice, nice. Good, good, good. Um, DKs have kick. Shaman has his kick, so we just got to be careful. Renewing mist. Make sure you get keep your renewing mist out. Uh, life cocoon's fine. Big healing. Man is starting to get... We're, oh, okay. I think the biggest thing is we're fixating on getting to like three stacks of Cloud of Focus, but we're missing out on a lot of healing because we don't have Renewing Mist out. So make sure you keep Renewing Mist on your teammate. If you're having trouble, play the talent that ha that makes it so when you're Envelop Mist, you put Renewing Mist out. That way you have something. And then you don't need to get to three stacks of Cloud of Focus every time, especially when someone's low. I would normally just put a Renewing Mist out, put a Cloud, put a Vivify out, and maybe you, you could do it at one or two stacks of Cloud of Focus for an Envelop Mist. Uh, but you do not have to go to three stacks. Especially this late into dampening. We're at, what, 56% dampening? Those vivifies are going to be close to doing nothing. Perfect. Look at that. Insane. Good. Good. Le always leg sweep the DPS. Always. 
it's really really good especially when you're playing against double melee because you just get to one you get to peel both and then if they don't have trinket you could probably kill them beautiful insane 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 all right round five and then also try to utilize your instant vivifies more but we're doing a good job really good job let's see um i haven't seen talents yet so i don't know what we're running i have no idea oh look this guy calling you great because you are you kidding me hell yeah that's a compliment right there we'll take that all right playing against enhance bm hunter all right this one's actually a real comp <laughs> so we'll see how this goes i would say you probably want to kill the hunter kind of cleave the enhancement shaman All right, trap on your mate or uh, root on your mage. We get rooted to intimidation stun on. Okay, if he intimidate and stun your DK, he's gonna have a hard time trapping you. Uh, sleepwalk on you, uh, and unless he traps off the sleepwalk potentially. I don't see one coming in hot. He's trying. He wants to get there. Kicks you, scatters you. No trap off. That's fine. Cocoon. That's fair. Emerald commun That was Emerald Communion from the dragon too. So that that's a pretty big cooldown. Um, but we're doing a really good job. Renew Mister out now, which is great. Um, uh, I thought the dragon tried to kick. The Are we trying to get a song here? Sweep here, beautiful sweep. And we get both trinkets there into a song. That's so good. That's so good. Glacier spikes on the shaman too. Oh, uh, this and then if you have Rop, if you have Ring a Peace, what I try to do is I will try to Ring a Peace wherever they're trying to run to so that they can't line. Because right now your mages, I think. I think your mage is popping cooldowns. Um, reset port, which is good. That's AMZ. That's our AMZ. This is a sweet, sweet uh, sleepwalk. We trinket. All right. In cap on the dragon. I'm normally you don't do that with mages, but I'm fine with it because I don't think your mage is gonna get a single poly with a shaman and a hunter training them. <laughs> like I really don't. Oh, we're doing a good job. Make sure we're doing missed up on your on your DK. Oh, we killed the hunter pet. Oh, the hunter. If we okay, this takes press off over everything. If the hunter pet's dead, uh, just kill the hunter. Yeah, that. Oh, we're just letting him get a pet res. Nice polys from your mage. Hex onto you. Your mage can dispel it if we get in line. Oh, too far away. That's okay. Cocoon is fine too. Um. Did the hunter get a pet out? Yeah, it looks like it. Nice double sweep here into a song. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Shaman's probably going to kick in anyway. Oh, ink cap into song? Oh, nice try. Nice try. If you're playing disarm, you can disarm the hunter and uh, go for it. What is this trap? Oh, my God. I don't even know where this trap is coming from. Overall, we're doing a really good job, though. Um, you have to utilize your instant uh, vivifies more. That's second ice block, it looks like. Um, good pour as well. But I think we're doing a pretty good job. Also, make sure you keep Renewing Mist up as well. Because Renewing Mist is is like your most important heal. It, it just is. Even though it doesn't seem like it is, it is. Uh, good in-cap here on the dragon. Give, give me a song off. Beautiful. Be All right, let's kill the hunter. Oh! Getting the invult missed out. Oh my god, we're greeting these invult mists. It's a good thing you did not get kicked from the hunter or shaman there. Holy cow. Are we going to kill the shaman now? I feel like shaman's never the kill target. But... Nice, nice restoral there. Nice job. Nice job. Oh my God. Right here. You do not need to um, get to like three stacks of Vivify. This guy's literally at 5,000 health. Um, you don't need to get to three stacks of Cloud of Focus to like get a belt missed out. I'm, I'm like, especially when someone's that low, I would just go for a Vivify into an belt mist. Also, you haven't used Manatee at all. You don't seem to need to use it, which is fine. Uh, but just keep that in mind. You could you could also use Manatee while channeling Soothing Mist. But this is a... Uh, that's scary. But good work. Good work here. It's a good thing the Hunter didn't kick you. Or the Shaman. But we're doing a good job. Really, really good job. Um, and we kill a Shaman. I think the Hunter is normally easier to kill than the Shaman. But the Shaman was so low here. Um, that we just killed him. Which is awesome. Great work. Great work. Awesome. Whew. And now we got, what, one more? All right, let's see what we got. We got Enhanced Frost Mage. The Hunter DK is actually a real comp that like people play on ladder. So I would honestly 
just run down the frost mage like to the ground straight to the dirt i think that this mage should have like the least amount of fun out of everybody this whole game so let's see what we got here oh we got a port down nice statue up give me a statue no if we're not playing statue that's fine oh no there's statue okay mage already trinketed I think it was a trap, so I don't know what that's about. This is Icy Vein, so damage is going to be coming out. Um, your DK should be pretty fine to this damage, but just be careful. If we're not playing Zen Focus T, the lockouts are going to be really annoying for this, versus the mage. Um, just chilling, which is fine. Make sure you get Renewing Mist out. Good. Good. That's Trap from your Hunter. I think he missed. I don't know. I see Trap right now from your Hunter, but... I don't see anyone on, on in cap DR. Um, knock from the dragon. You can kick. Okay. I thought he was going to. Uh, we overlap turtle and cocoon, which um, I guess we already turtled, right? Yeah. Usually when like stuff's going on, just keep this in mind. Just like always, always quickly peek over at your teammates just to see if they're pressing cooldowns and turtles right here. Cause like he has turtle for like one or two, like what? One, one second, one and a half seconds. I know it's quick, but. That's an overlap there, um, which I think will be okay. Glacier Spike coming in hot probably on, on your DK because your Hunter's turtled. I don't think it's going to do too much because a Hunter can... I mean, your DK could literally heal through it. So I, I think if, when they hit your DK, it's fine. You get locked from the Dragon, but that's fine too. Your Dragon looks like he's trying to sleepwalk you. Nice stop on it. Um, Intimidation Sun as well. It, I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing Spirit Bloom here. from The Dragon Song. We're trying to get a Song of chi -Gi downtown he doesn't see it and he eats it oh it breaks that's okay cs on you which is a little scary here they could kill you in a lockout but once this lockout's over you're fine like oh don't panic don't panic ink up on the mage hunter dies okay that's fine that's fine I'm trying to see um so when you get locked when you get kicked when you get kicked you you could still use some spells our incap comes off our cool cool down right now just ink the mage yeah, Mage has no Trinket. Mage has no DRs. Maybe they Ice Block. I, it doesn't matter. But also, you can use Dampen Harm while you're kicked as well. So don't don't freak out if you're low and you're kicked. Ever. I promise. Like You also have Fort Brew. So like don't go too far from your teammates because then this happens. Because um, like we're out of the lockout right now. Right here. Let me see. And then we go farther from our team. So I would have just incapped the Mage. No trinket, and then just roll it back to your teammates. Yeah, like incap's a little too late. Yeah, I, mean, I I would incap in like as soon as I'm locked, incap something like any literally anything. Stop any kind of cast, stop any kind of damage, anything like that. I would do just because they are they could do quite a bit of damage to you, but it also stops damage on your teammates. But overall, though, this was a really good game. Like two weeks of healing it took it literally took me three seasons. To get 1500 on my resto drew when I first started playing. So, insane job. Um, this, it does take some getting used to from fist weaving to like normal mist weaving, but overall, we did a really good job. Um, make sure you keep renewing mist on your teammates. Use your instant vivifies more. I mean, it is so important. They're, they're so good. Um, and since you don't use manatee that often, play life cycles talent. I would highly recommend it. It, it would, since you don't even use manatee and your mana is fine. Your life cycle is going to make it even better. So um, use your Vivify, instant Vivify more. Change Manatee to life cycles just because it's really good. Uh, make sure you keep Renewing Mist on as many people as possible when you can. Um, and then overall, no, this was good. Positioning-wise, we're doing fine. Oh, I didn't see your talents. But Zen Focus T is really good. Zen Focus T would have prevented you from using Light Cocoon a lot uh, just because it's guaranteed healing. That's what that, that, that if that that's how I think of it when I play it. It is guaranteed. All Miss Weaver needs is like what we need like two or three globals and you're topped. So Zen Focus T gives you enough time to top somebody. Um, so play Zen Focus T, play around with it, see if you like it. It's really good. I know we're playing Peace Weaver with Restoral, which again is also really solid. Uh, we actually have Restoral at the end here. So if, if we were in range of our teammate, we could actually just Restoral and keep our team alive. Um, but yeah, overall, man, great healing, great work, good good uses of cooldowns. Some overlaps, but that's solo shuffle. And that is, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone that's struggling against, you know, 
non like it's just a weird lobby it's just a mage hunters are usually the hardest for you to heal because the hunter feign deaths and stops your casting the mage dr is everything that you have and then they take a lot of damage so yeah if you please let me know if you have any questions i'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it for me hope everyone's fantastic day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later